I've tested them out. I've seen for myself enough proof, enough evidence. And I think that's what John, the gospel writer, was trying to say to us in the last verses of today's text. Jesus did many other miraculous things in the presence of his disciples, which are not recorded in this book. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing, you may have life in his name. And that by believing, you may have life in his name. Well, that's me. I believe because I've seen Jesus' teachings work in my best interest. That's the evidence that I'm talking about. I'm the kind of Thomas who says, show me that Jesus' way works for me, and if it does, then I'll believe in him. My constructive doubts have brought me to my faith. I stand before you today confessing that Jesus is my Savior, not because I have some kind of unwavering faith that should be an example to you all. No, I stand before you today confessing that Jesus is my Savior, that he is God's Son, the long-awaited Messiah of the Old Testament, because when I live as he teaches us to live, my life works. I have all the proof and evidence that I need. When I am weak, he gives me strength. When I have fears, he gives me hope. When I am confused, he gives me sight. When I am angry, he gives me patience. When I am tempted, he gives me clarity of choice. When I am self-absorbed, He gives me my next assignment for helping other people. When I am discouraged, he opens new windows of opportunity. I stand before you today as a man who only wins about half of his battles, whose body lets him down every day, and some days with more pain than you know whose mind and memory aren't as sharp as they used to be. I stand before you as someone who has doubted God in a thousand different constructive ways over the years, only to come to the conclusion that Jesus speaks the truth and that he has never lied to me. And that when I have the courage to do what he asks of me, I am discovered by a life that begins to make sense to me. And I'm discovered by an inner peace that calms and reminds me that I no longer have to be in control. Because he is. He is. In other words, if it weren't for my constructive doubts throughout the years, I would never have reached what faith I do have today. I go through hardships and I step into potholes, and life for me is often just an uphill climb. Life at times is just difficult at best. God doesn't shelter me from the storms, but God does walk with me through those storms. He's right by my side. He leads me. Now, I've been more personal today in this message than in most sermons. But my story is not different from your story. Our stories have the same kind of similarities interwoven throughout them. We've doubted God a thousand times for a thousand reasons across the years. But over those years, those doubts eventually led us to a stronger trust and faith in the Lord. Jesus' way for your life 
and for mine has proven to be true again and again. Sometimes doubt has to first be doubt before you can believe. Amen. Thank you for listening to our Sunday morning service. If you would like a copy, you can contact the office at 660-359-6762 or email us at wesleyum at sbcglobal.net. Feel free to visit us in person or online at wesleyunitedmethodist.us where you will always find open minds, open hearts, and open doors. May the blessings of Jesus Christ be upon you in every aspect of your life.